Hey, what is up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros, and today we're going to be doing a $300 complete gaming setup. Let's get right into it, shall we? But first, a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by GVG Mall, a massive online marketplace to gain access to massive discounts on games and keys for Windows 10 licenses. So Matt and I actually use the Windows 10 Pro keys on pretty much all of our builds here at the channel, and it's really easy to get them for $12 and some change. So if you go in the link down below, use code TB20 in checkout, it'll be like $12 and like 20 something cents, which is a really good deal for Windows 10 Pro, fully activated. So there's no more excuses to have an unactivated version of Windows. If you're building a new PC or whether you want to upgrade a system that you already have that's unactivated, please use code TB20 in the link in the description down below to get access to some really awesome Windows keys and games at a discount. So how about we get right into this PC build, shall we? So you guys really like these full setup videos, so we decided to bring you an even cheaper one. So we've done $700, we've done $425, and this right here is $300 for everything. So this full setup includes a monitor, keyboard and mouse, and headset, and a computer, which, because we're going so cheap, we had to go with something like a pre-built system, which you can find easily on eBay, and Jackson will explain what we got right here. So what we have here is an Optiplex 990. This is an kind of older pre-built that you can buy on eBay for about 100 bucks. Matt was actually able to snag that deal. This has an i7-2600 that has 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM, and we've already upgraded it with a 60 gig SSD. Now I actually just made a video on this exact PC as a very capable entry level streaming PC. So if you haven't seen that video, I in the top right corner to check that out. But what we're gonna be doing is the old method of upgrading Dell Optiplexes with a graphics card that doesn't require too much external power and making a really awesome entry level system that pretty much anyone at home could do if they could find one of these systems on eBay or your local market. So if you check out the video we did before, Matt actually used a 1650 in it, which is really the best card you can get right now that does not require any external power. So we decided to go cheaper with it, and for $92 on bid on eBay, we got a 1050 Ti, which is actually really close to a 1650 as far as performance goes, and also does not require external power. So it's also about the most powerful you can get without using external power. And at only $92 compared to $150 for a 1650, this is honestly a way better buy on the used market. Now, another thing to note about this Dell Optiplex is that there's a wide range of them to choose from. Our model comes with an i7-2600, but you can get ones with other second-gen processors from Intel or even third-gen or fourth-gen. There are a lot of options to choose from. This one right here is very capable because of that i7-2600 because it has four cores and eight threads compared to some of the other ones with i5s that are just quad cores. In modern gaming, having that extra four threads can really benefit you, and especially in other applications that may be more demanding like video editing or live streaming. So that's why we chose this system in particular, and for $100 it's a great deal, and honestly will be a great focus point for this entire setup. So along with the graphics card that we got on eBay for a good deal, we actually snagged this, which you guys can actually still get in the link down below. This is a 1920 by 1080, 21.5 inch, it's on brand, which I've never heard of, but it was $51.99, and as long as it's in one piece, you know, pretty happy with it, and it's not exactly a gaming monitor, but it's HD, and it'll get you started, especially for $300, you really can't complain for a 1080p monitor. Now, no setup is complete until you have a keyboard and mouse and a headset. So this right here is the Maggi. Maggi, again, there's some really weird keyboard and mouse combo kits on Amazon that you can purchase. This right here is your basic gaming keyboard. It's kind of like the other ones that have some RGB backlighting to it, which is kind of just like that gradient look to it. But anyways, you'll see more of it in the B-roll when we actually finish this setup. Coming in at $26.99 for a keyboard and a mouse, really, we're not expecting too much, but again, it's gonna do enough to allow you to to play the games that you want to play. Now this headset right here is from Nubwo. This is their U3 gaming headset. Again, if we pronounce any of these names totally wrong, like you, you try in the comment Forgive section because we have no idea. But this thing came in at a price point of only $17.99 and that's very cheap for a headset. But um, yeah, we're not really sure how well this thing's gonna do. Again, this is like an Amazon budget special. There are a lot of these that you can choose from. You can go through and decide which one will fit your budget and whatever one has the best reviews. But this one was literally one of the cheapest on there um, has a black and red color scheme looks better than some of the other ones that we've had on this uh, setup series so we'll be excited to see how the game audio sounds on this after we put this entire setup together and start benchmarking some games i guess they know who we are thank you to this person who put their card in there they know that we buy unless they just back. happen to do that all the time maybe i don't know maybe whatever
right guys, so we're gonna be starting the benchmark runs as usual with our good old game Fortnite. Right now we're running on pro settings, which people have asked is epic view distance and everything else off, motion blur disabled, and we're running with no frame rate limit currently. Uh, we're getting in the uh, starting lobby around 100-ish FPS. Not a good benchmark for right now, but we're going to test it in just a second when he drops in. Uh, there's, there's been kind of a meme going around. We'll see if uh, Jackson can get a kill in this benchmark run. I'm not totally sure. Well, as he's landing in, he's getting around 90 to 100 FPS, which is actually very impressive for Fortnite. Again, this is only a 1080p 60 hertz monitor, so really anything over 60 is kind of extra, so it's really not a must to be over that frame rate. Uh, but overall, this is very fluid. There are a few stutters here and there, uh, but that can be easily fixed if he did lock the frame rate to 60 FPS. Um, but honestly, this monitor, I'm kind of impressed with how it looks for the money. It looks pretty sharp. Uh, 21 and a half inch at 1080p looks nice. Um, we reviewed another monitor that was this size, but honestly, this one, I don't know if it's just the way this thing's built, it feels bigger. Um, and uses more of the screen instead of having like thicker bezels. And uh, well, there Jackson got killed. Uh, uh, but yeah, in terms of performance, I think it's pretty solid. Do you feel like the monitor was slow at all? Anything no, weird about I'm it? I'm good at dying though. Good at dying, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, next game. All right, guys, so the next game we're gonna be testing is of course Counter-Strike. And right now running on high settings, we're getting very playable uh, numbers right now, well over 100 FPS. Few stutters here and there, and that can be fixed again if you lock the frame rate down to 60 on this 1080p 60 hertz monitor. But overall performance looks pretty solid. Playing a deathmatch game on Dust 2, you know, the classic. Uh, ooh, Jackson gets some headshots though, but I'm gonna let Jackson run through some uh, gameplay footage real quick. using the best weapon in the game, dude. But again, the performance is, as expected, pretty solid. Uh, whip shot didn't really work out very well. Gerard. Um, Gerard, is that you? Um, but yeah, CSGO, easy game to run. And this is a good example of a game that you can easily play on a majority of these budget systems. And this Dell Optiplex we have over here is definitely not suffering in CSGO at all. Look at these hard drive speeds, though. All right, the next game we're gonna be testing is Killing Floor 2. This is a favorite of Jackson and I. Uh, we really like playing this game. We played the first one a lot, and it's honestly a pretty fun game to play with friends. Right now on high settings, well over 60 FPS. Yes, this is an easier to run game, but of course, we wanted to show another game that's a lot of fun, and people were asking about this in our last video. Um, and Jackson can kill people in this one too, so that's a plus. Oh, yeah. uh, but well over 60 FPS, locked, really not pushing the system that hard at all. Um, it's a cool game, if you want to check it out, maybe uh, Killing 4 2 on Steam, it's pretty awesome. Um, but overall, this shows some of the performance of the system. System. Yes, does this system kind of need some room to work with like other high-end games, maybe like a Battlefield 5 or something? Potentially, and if you're interested in seeing us benchmark more games like that, let us know in the comment section down below what kind of games you want us to try. We're always looking to update our benchmarking uh, suite of games. <laughs> um, but yeah, performance in this game looks pretty solid. Is Jackson gonna die? All right, guys, and the last game we are gonna be testing is, of course, The Forest. This game is definitely more GPU dependent. As you can tell, we're at 99% usage on the GPU, which shows that this CPU could actually handle a better GPU in the system so far. Uh, but it does bring up a question. This is a $300 full setup. Uh, we'll talk more about it at the outro, but it's starting to get to the point where we're getting so cheap that you might be better off saving up some money to get better performance overall and a better upgrade path. Uh, but this system, if you really just wanna get into game at a $300 budget and jump off the forest and die. Um, you can get a well over 10, like 60 FPS experience at 1080p. You get dragged into the cave by these uh, cannibals. You know, this is a great game as well if you want to play that. Um, and overall, it's n pretty impressive. I can't complain too much about this system. We all know the power of the Dell Optiplexes in 2019, especially if you upgrade the graphics card. And well, I think we should just go ahead and wrap this video up real quick. So as you guys can see, for only $300, the setup is very, very respectable and can actually play pretty much any game. You might have to lower some settings to be able to play them, but 1080p tests, we were able to play pretty much every game we tested. So obviously this is not the best looking system and not really the best performing, for granted is $300, but if you guys wanna spend a little bit of extra money, something like our $425 setup, you can actually build a complete gaming system from scratch for only $125 more kind of worth it, but at the same time, if you're really on a tight budget, or if you can go with the higher end Optiplex that you can put a better graphics card into, then you might have a better fighting chance for gaming. Upgradability is the key with this setup. When you're spending only $300, you're getting a system that will perform really good right now, but two, three years down the line, it might not show up and play the games that you wanna play, and there's really not a great upgrade path for it. So 
Keep that in mind if you're building this setup. It's still a good option if you want something super cheap and you're on a really tight budget. And some of the things that we do recommend is the monitor. The monitor, by the way, is actually really good for the money. I was kind of skeptical about this monitor from the reviews you read, but uh, this thing has VESA support and you could add another one at some point if you wanted to. The only thing I would mention, and Jackson kind of agrees, is this keyboard and mouse combo kit. It's okay. Uh, we have a few issues with it, with the inner key kind of sticking. Um, so if you want another alternative, I'll be sure to remi remind myself to leave another link down below to one we used in a previous setup if you want to do that one instead. But again, with setups like this, there are a lot of options out there and we are kind of happy with what we put together. So once again, don't forget to check out GBG Mall and use code TB20 to get Windows 10 Pro for really cheap. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.